Hey guys, Micah from Black Bear Custom Kydex. I got a video for you today on a system that I just built and this is pretty exciting for me. Uh, I think I've just come up with a really simple solution to uh, an issue that a lot of people complain about with piggyback systems. And Well, not so much complain, but a lot of guys want to be able to detach the smaller knife and carry it separately on their hip uh, or however they want to carry it, but <clears throat> have it set up essentially for a quick detach. And if you've seen my videos, you've probably noticed the one with the um, the Condor Golok and Condor Nesmic. And I had created a plate on the Golok that the Nesmic could clip onto with Molly Locks. Um, and I think that system came out really well, but there's a better solution, I think. And uh, that's what I'm about to show you. So this is, as far as I know, the first of its kind. And uh, something that I think will probably change the game. So I'm proud to be the first one. Uh, if I'm talking out of my rear side, please let me know if somebody else is already doing this. So I'm not uh, too proud of this. But um, yeah, so anyway, I'll just show you guys what I've come up with for this system. And uh, hopefully you like it. So Brandon sent me his uh, Cold Steel Bushman. And if you haven't seen this knife, it's a very interesting sort of one-piece handle blade hollowed out. And he sent me a custom knife from Alonzo. So he asked for a piggyback system and obviously for the uh, Alonzo to be able to detach easily and carry separately on its own. So <clears throat> the system I've come up with for that, actually before I get into this thing, he also wanted a leather dangler but something easily removable from his belt without having to undo his belt. So I've just dangled leather down with my standard setup with the D-ring and at the top we have a combat loop so for those of you who aren't familiar with combat loop you just unlock it and then you can depress the button and you can open that gate nice and easy all right so that's that you can see i've matched the kydex over it he wanted gray rattler and uh, cryptech extreme hunter orange so those are the colors we got on here Here's the uh, overall profile of the Bushman sheath. You can see it's got that nice recurve on the bottom. It's got an aggressive profile. And yeah, that's what we got. Uh, as far as retention on it goes, you can see it's in there pretty snug. Um, it draws super easy, but the Bushman doesn't have a traditional Kydex click. Well, just a little, just a tiny bit of a click in, enough to keep it from rattling around essentially. Um, but just in case, I didn't really trust it like that, so I've attached some shock cord on the inside. There was a drill hole there already, and oops, and I've created a little knob by using two short. So I used uh, a female and a male Chicago screw, but I put an extra small female Chicago screw uh, post right there backwards, so it creates that little channel you can see. And it's in that that the shock cord loops in and just ensures tension so that this knife can't come out. So when you want to take it out, you just undo that and draw it out. No big deal. All right, so let's get into this Alonzo sheath because this is really the, uh, the meat and potatoes and this is the, the nuance that I'm bringing to the Kydex game and hopefully this will kind of become my signature thing. But... <clears throat> so the idea that I had was, you can probably already tell, there are two layers of Kydex here. So there's going to be one layer that stays mounted to the bigger sheath, the Bushman sheath, and then the smaller one actually detaches from it. So you just break it free by pushing down on the top of the knife, or the top of the sheath rather, and you can break that free. You can see it's already set up with an ulti clip ready to be carried on its own. And it is itself its own system. It's got a really nice draw. A little bit of a kydex click, but it's it's really secure in there. There's no rattle. And going back in, all you have to do is just put it in there and click it in. So it does take a little bit of force to push it in there and Part of the uh, struggle with this particular sheath, you want to just make sure when you do it, you can kind of you know flex this away and do it at an angle. 
because if you go in here, let me show you. If you go in at too shallow of an angle, that Alti clip can snag on, well, it's not doing it right now, but it can snag on that screw, the, uh, the whatever you want to call it, the shock cord knob. It can snag on that and open the Alti clip and then just the spacing will be wrong in here so you won't even be able to fit it into there. So just make sure you uh, keep that Alti clip closed, flex it away, push it in place. So you can see that's locked in really strong. There's no rattle. The rattle you're hearing is the D-ring. Let me brace that. So there's no rattle on that. And at the same time, it doesn't affect the draw. So that was the trick, being able to get this really snug without tightening down the, uh, the inner sheath. So I don't have a name for this yet. Right now I'm just kind of going with an outer sheath, an inner sheath, or like an over sheath and the independent sheath. Um, but maybe I'll call it like a breakaway or something like that. But in any event, it is really easy system to use. Very rugged and, uh, and super functional. So that's pretty much what I got on this. Uh, one more time, you can draw this one-handed. in case you were wondering all right so that's what I got all right guys if you like this video if you like this sheath I ask you to go down and hit that like button if you're not already subscribed go down and hit subscribe hit the bell if you want to receive notifications when I upload new videos and uh, like and comment and share this with all your friends so thanks for tuning in guys God bless